<laughs> the unicorn poop. Oh, it's a push pop. Woo, wake me up in the morning. <laughs> I like it a lot, a lot, a lot. But I just have to try this box. Stunning. Hello, everybody. So, hope you guys are all doing great today. Um, I have a Lush haul for you. This is like, I don't know, it's not really exciting one because the last ones I've been doing recently have obviously been like all collections, like Valentine's, Easter, stuff like that. But this is just like regular, I guess. I mean, there are, there is two, well, three new products, I guess, that have come out in the last week um, that I can share with you. That's like brand new exclusive stuff. Um, but yeah, just thought I'd share these little bits with you. So I'll start off with the three things that I got that are just normal and then I'll show you the new exclusive products at the end. Um, so I got three bath bombs. I wanted, I was in the mood for like really pretty baths with some really nice bath art. So I got three of what I deem to be like really pretty that I think are gonna be like super nice in the bath. Um, so the first one I got is the intergalactic bath bomb. Everybody knows the intergalactic, don't they? Super beautiful. It's, I didn't actually realize it's got like lots of lovely glitter in it, which is great. Obviously intergalactic smells look quite spearminty, pepperminty. Um, it's meant to have grapefruit in it as well. But I mean, I just smell, smell spearmint personally myself. Um, I'm not a massive, massive lover of like really minty scents. Um, I just thought, I've seen videos of people using this and it just looks beautiful. So I thought, I'll give it a go. It still smells wonderful, don't get me wrong. Some people are super duper obsessed with this though and I'm not, I'm not that far being obsessed with it. But yeah, excited for that one. Um, that one was six pounds, I believe, yes it was. Next one we've got, I love this one, is the Black Rose Bath Bomb. How beautiful and all the glitter again super duper glittery stunning put your little lash on the bottom this is beautiful this smells like i think it smells like rose jam um oh really nice um i figured that will make like a real beautiful like black galaxy looking um bath i haven't actually seen this in use i don't think um but i just i love black stuff and spooky shit and i just thought this was like along those lines you know <laughs> so excited to try that one and then finally on the bath bombs we got the <laughs> the unicorn poop this one to me like i don't know if i've smelled this scent before it's really lovely though like i'm really surprised i like this a lot it's like super it's very strong Super fresh and floral. I think it's slightly floral, not too much though, because if it was too floral, I wouldn't like it. Um, let's have a look at the packing order actually. Does it say anything about this one? We could maybe look at what yeah, the We can look at what the ingredients are, shall we? So you've got citric acid, bergamot oil, jasmine absolute, ylang ylang. Yeah, it's just really unusual, but I love it. I love it. Perhaps it's the jasmine and you probably maybe the ylang ylang coming through that is just giving it that real strong perfumey lovely scent i like this a lot and i think it's going to be stunning and if it's stunning it's probably going to be one of my go-to bath bombs that i get uh, i did tell you did i the uh, black rose bath bomb was six pounds fifty and this one was six pounds oh i'm so excited to try this one again if you're not subscribed to me do subscribe um i do little shorts of me trying out all of the lush products that i buy and um, so i'll be trying out these three and seeing what they look like in bath then i'll do these two small products first and i'll save the big gift box it's gift box it's a new one till the end um so the second two products that i got were also brand new this week i believe brand new um lush used to do these years and years and years ago um i think i remember having one when i was like 15 i think i had a flying fox one um sent one um it's i didn't even say what it was did i it's the temple balms so they've come out with two new 
No, am I showing you right? There we go. <laughs> Two new temple balms. <laughs> yes, yeah, so they used to do temple balms years ago. They would come in like a little metal tin, just a little screwy tin. Um, and I think, yeah, again, I think I used one. I think it was a flying fox one. I think I got it free. It was like a little sample thing. Um, I remember liking it, I do. Um, but these look a bit more handy because they're in, I think they're in a little roll up thing or something. We'll open them and have a look in a sec. But you can, you don't have to put your finger in the tin and get your finger all grubby, you know? Let's open them up. So, first up, we've got the Dream Time Temple Balm uh, Lavender and Chamomile for a deep, restful sleep. Um, so, this one you'd pop on like before bedtime. Oh, it's, oh, it, I thought it would just pop off. It's a little twist. That's exciting. Oh, it's a push pop. You push it. You push your finger up here. Ready? And it comes out. Isn't that so snazzy? That's so clever. Oh. So to me, this smells very similar, if not the same. Well, I don't know how though, because I think it smells a bit like therapy, the massage bar. I thought therapy was orange based. Is that oranges in this? Oh, it does smell a bit like therapy. Well, that's really lovely though. I'm very surprised by that. I thought it would be like the sleepy scent, just pure lavender, you know? But no, oh, I like that a lot. That's very exciting. Next up, we've got the whoosh one. This one is for, sorry about my nails. I, I painted these like three days ago with a Barry M white and they've started coming off already. I usually use API and I bought Barry M1 and now I'm like, I might go back to API. Just not what you want, is it? Uh, anywho, so we've got the whoosh one. This one is feel bright and alert with a dab of this zingy grapefruit and rosemary scented balm. Um, yes, let's push her up. That's so snazzy. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's beautiful. That is literally what it says on the tin. That's really lovely. Really zingy. Um, I want to say citrusy, but I think it is mainly grapefruit and rosemary. I mean, grapefruit is a citrus, obviously. But it's got a bit of a lemony zing to it as well, obviously, to wake you up in the morning. Um, oh, I'm just so excited by that. It's lovely. Both of them. I'm very glad I purchased both of those because I was a bit like... These are £10 each, so look at that how you will. I mean, I... How much are you getting it? You get 11 grams, and I mean, it's probably to there. So, you get a fair amount in there, I think. But, I don't know, maybe I'll let you know how these go in like a week if they, if they send me to sleep and wake me up, because I'm hoping that whoosh is going to save my life in the mornings. This little boy, he's been keeping me up a little bit more recently. He's usually really good at sleeping, but he's hitting that four-month mark where he's getting a bit grisly. Um, so I'm not sleeping very well. So and I've got to get up early, obviously, with him. So hopefully that'll woo wake me up in the morning. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Last up, the most exciting part of this for me personally um, is let me grab it. We have a lush kitchen gift box look at that so this is full of fan favorite retro products so products that were discontinued um quite a while ago i think a lot of these um because i remember getting the majority of these when i was obsessed with lush when i was in high school and that was what 15 years ago <laughs> um but yes First off, let's just appreciate this packaging. How stunning is this? So all over the box, you've got the products that are inside pictured all over. You've got your little tag that says Lush Kitchen and your little products that are inside. I just think this is a really beautiful box to keep as like a little memorabilia keepsake. Um, I'm gonna set up a little set of shelves in my bedroom and put some of the boxes and the other stuff that I love to look at on it and so it'll just make me happy when i walk in my room but we're gonna go we're gonna open this now um and i'll show you what's in it 
So I've opened it up um, and I'll whiz through what's in it. What's on my nose? I don't even know what that's from. <laughs> hey, so let's go through it. This is so exciting. So firstly, you get a little extra in it, which I always think is very cute to do. You get a little set of badges. So you get one that says lovely bubbly, classic lush one, um, wild child and anything but ordinary. I mean, I'm not one to wear badges or anything, but I think I'm going to get a knot wrap to decorate the shelf. This the shelf. Oh, my God. I swear to God, when I actually get around to it, it better be as bloody amazing as I keep making it out in my own head. Um, but I'll like put them on that, I think. Can I make a little? I've got some more that I've got in other sets as well. Um, so it'd be nice to like pin them to something so you can see them because they are really cute. And I love the classic Lush one. That's just love it. So that's a nice little extra you get in there. Then first thing we get is the Aura Suavis, Aura Suavis. I don't think anyone knows how to pronounce this. If you know how to pronounce this, do let me know. Let me know if I did it right. I don't know if I did. Um, but this is beautiful. I was worried. There's a few things in this that I was worried that I wasn't going to like. Because um, I could vaguely remember some of them. And then some of them I hadn't actually tried. Like um, one of the melts in the bubble bar I tried. But you know when you just can't put your mind back that far to remember if you really liked it or not. But I just had to try this box. <laughs> um, so yes, yeah, this one says, Sweet and minty spearmint oil invigorates skin and helps bring your life back into focus. That was one I was worried I wasn't going to like. Because, I, like I said, I'm not... I still like... It's, it's still fine. It's nice. I like it. But I'm not like real... I love mint smelling stuff. <laughs> so I was worried I wouldn't like this. But this is more... To me, this is more like fresh... And like it says, like invigorating. It's more sweet and a, a bit herbal to me than it is minty. I'm really, again, this is also bringing about nostalgia. I feel like I used to try this or use it when I was younger. It's really beautiful. Like, I love that a lot. I like it a lot, a lot, a lot. So in this, we've got Fairtrade Organic Aloe Vera Gel, Fresh Lemon Infusion, beautiful. Clary sage oil, glycerin, coriander, seed oil, geranium oil, spearmint oil, lactic acid. Might be the clary sage oil coming through a bit more for me. That's just, it's not too minty to me at all, really, considering it's more like the main sort of selling point of it. I like that a lot. Next up, we have a little shower smoothie. This is the creamed almond and coconut shower smoothie. Gorgeous. Let's open her up for you. Really sort of thick, doesn't really move anywhere. Shower smoothie. This is very, very mild, but lovely nonetheless. It reminds me a bit of, I think, is it Sympathy for the Skin? That I thought was quite mild. Really mild vanilla coconutty well I don't think sympathy for the skin was particularly coconutty coconutty but it was very mildly vanilla-ish it didn't really smell of much at all very mild vanilla this is like that a little bit but a tiny bit stronger I'd say very nice very nice and then the nakey nakey products we have the naked ones we've got a bath bomb we've got summer blues bath bomb which is beautiful look at this isn't that just phenomenal? Look at all the stuff packed in that. Like, that is packed. It's going to be beautiful. Got your lush imprint on the bottom. I thought I wouldn't like this as well, but it's stunning. Stunning. Did I say it was called Summer Blues? It's called Summer Blues. So you've got citric acid in this. Um, rose Absolute, Orange Flower Absolute, Lemongrass Oil, Jasmine Absolute, Dried blue mallow flowers, dried blue laxpur, corn flowers. Oh, I thought this was going to be like, it, don't get me wrong, it is really florally. It is, of course, it is. It's full of flowers. But sometimes I don't like floral scents, but this is just, mm, it's got something to it. There's more to it than just like smelling like powdery roses or something, you know? It's got layers. That is stunning and that is going to be beautiful in the bath. I cannot wait to try that. That might be a 
a tonight a, a tonight's bath i think because that's just oh stunning beautiful next up we've got the green day bubble bar i definitely remember trying this when i was younger um but weirdly this was what i was most excited for in this box and oddly it's my least favorite <laughs> I don't know why, I remembered it more smelling like Tramp, um, but it doesn't smell like Tramp. It's It's got vibes of that, if you have the Lush Kitchen box, um, is it the Tropical Fruit Lotion? Like, it's giving me that vibe, like really mossy, jungle, wet, outdoor vibes. It's, it's I can appreciate it, but it's definitely not my favorite. I'm really like disappointed because I was really psyched for this one. I don't know, maybe I was thinking of a different product that I thought it was or smelled like, I don't know. But never mind. Last thing, this thing's up there with one of my faves. Oh, it's gorge. It's the Floating Island Bath Oil. Little like, I don't know, I don't know what shape that is. It's just a little floating island. Why would they get rid of this? Why? That is the most pure vanilla, like cake scent I've ever smelt in my life. Like, oh, it's just beautiful. So in this, we've got citric acid, fair trade organic cocoa butter, almond oil, water, sandalwood oil, Sicilian lemon oil, labdanum resinoid. You're making enough noise there, my boy. <laughs> But yeah, it must be the almond and the cocoa butter in there or something. Maybe a smidge of lemon. It is just the most sweetest, delectable, vanilla -y scent I've ever smelled in my life. This and that shower smoothie would be very nice together, actually. Maybe that'll be tonight's bath. <laughs> I just can't make my mind up. But maybe I'll have like five baths tonight, who knows? Stunning. Bloody gorgeous. So that is all you get in that box. It retails for £46, which I don't know how you would look at it. Yes, it seems a little bit on the steep side, but they are all retro products. You get this stunning box. You get a little extra with them as well. And to me, just for the nostalgia and the little trip back down memory lane, and I don't know, I just like trying out products that they've gotten rid of and they brought back. It's just really something really exciting about it. So that's the end of that. Um... I really did try not to make this a long video, but I think it might be. I do apologise. But yeah, so we've got two new fantastic products there. Extremely happy with all of that, of course, because Lush is just amazing. Um, really excited to try out all of those bath bombs. All of it. There's not one thing, except for the bubble bar, perhaps, that I don't like in that. These, I'm so excited to try these out. Um, yeah, let me know if you guys have got any of this. If you've ordered the, um, or gone and bought... I don't actually know if this is exclusive online, the Lush box. Um, <clears throat> if you guys have gotten any of this, if you've tried it, let me know what you guys think. I love your opinions as well. Yeah, I'm just so excited. Right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that one and I'll catch you very soon. Bye.